Because inequalities have multiple answers, we always graph our results. So let's think about your pink, white, and blue foldable for equations. It fits for inequalities. What would it ask us to do here? Are there grouping symbols? No. Do we have like terms on either side? that need to be combined on the side? No. Do we have like terms on both sides of the inequality we need to combine? Yeah. Yes. What do we start with, the one with the variable or the constant? Variable. variable. The variable, and we start with the variable that is the no. lowest, which is 2x. So we're gonna subtract the 2x from both sides. What does that leave us with on the left side of the inequality? Negative 5 is less than 3x minus 22. And now we're going to deal with the constants. We're going to add the 22 because it's with the um, term that has the variable. And our goal is to try to get that variable by itself. Negative 22 plus 22 is 0. Negative 5 plus 22 is what? 17. 17. 17 is less than 3x. So we divide We divide, by three. We divide by 3. Wait, we're going to divide 17? This, I get this it. is I'm algebra. I'm sure that's going to be... That is the answer, 17 over 3. 17 over 3 is less than x. Couple things here. I will normally tell you we just leave fractions as they are, but this will be easier to graph if we know what 17 over 3 equals, won't it? Yes. What is 17 over 3 equal? <laughs> 3 goes into 17 5 times with two left over, so it's five and two thirds. Notice what I'm doing here, I'm rewriting this oh, yeah. with the x to the left, the constant rewritten to the right. What's gonna happen to my symbol? The less than is gonna become a? It's a flip. When I have a fraction, I'm just going to put 5 and 6 on my number line. Where is 5 and 2 thirds going to fall? Where is 5 and 2 thirds going to fall? Right about in the middle, kind of same to the right. It's going to be about 2 thirds of the way from 5. And I'm going to circle it and go to the right. Why did I leave it open? Because it's small. Because it's not equal to. It's just greater than. Mm -hmm. So that is an example of solving inequalities with variables on both sides. Nice. There are also inequalities with infinite many and one. Or no solutions. Oh. Equations have one answer. Inequalities have many answers. That's why when we s highlight the number line, we're saying everything in this direction would make this inequality true. Wait, how do you get an infinite? Like, Let's find out. Yeah. So, negative 3 at, oops, sorry, negative 3 times 2x minus 5 is greater than negative 6x plus 9. Parentheses. There is parentheses, so we're going to multiply. multiply. Negative 3 times 2x is going to be negative 6x. Negative 3 times negative 5 is going to be positive 15 is greater than oh, yeah, the negative 6x plus 9.
Or the minus term is the plus term. Now I'm going to deal with the x term because all of the like terms are combined on each side. I'm going to add 6x to both. And I end up with 15 is greater than 9. Is that a true statement? Yeah. If it's true, that means it's infinite. Oh yeah, because the, the x is... That means I can pick any number in the world and plug it in for x, and this inequality will still come out to be true. So even it's, if it's like 1 billion, trillion, trillion. Yeah, because yes. let's go to this place right here. Any number I put in this x, picture if I put a 1 in there. What if it's a 0? Picture if I put a 0 in there. Negative 6 times 0 is going to be 0. Negative, negative 6 times 0 is going to be 0. 15 is greater than 9. Any number I put in is going to be true. Right. So now uh, let's try. How about that? I get it, I get it. I get 4x it. minus 5 is greater than 2 times 2x minus 3. What's my first step here? Mm -hmm. I'm going to rewrite the left side because nothing's going to change yet. And on the right, that's going to change to 4x minus 6. Already, when I look at that, I can see that there's a problem. Picture the scale. These two are equal to each other, aren't they? Yes. Are these two equal to each other? So let's make it really obvious and subtract out the 4x. Negative 5 is less than negative 6. Is that a true statement? No. This is false. That means that there is no solution. There is no number I can put in for x that would make this come out true. And you don't have to graph these. Yeah. The only ones we graph are the many solutions. This has many solutions. Any number that is bigger than 5 and 2 thirds makes this true. It goes on and on and on. Somebody said, what if it's a billion? Yes, a billion would still make it true. It's way over on the right. But is it on the right of this? Okay. That line will be going for so long. Yeah. So. I'm aware that we are close to time. Our little copier jam kind of got in the way, and I apologize for that. And that's okay. We'll deal with what I had was copying on Monday. The plan right now is you guys are going to have a very few problems. Yeah. We only have five minutes. I'm going to guess you can get one or two of them done before we have to clean up. I'm going to hope that you can go home and spend 15 minutes tonight. Come to class tomorrow with the problems done. You're going to have time to work together to see if you've got the same things and check with Miss Etran. I will leave the, res the answer so you guys can check. Okay. Fair enough? Yeah. So please write on your binder paper, either the back of your page from yesterday or new paper. Page 34 again. Today we're doing numbers 33 through 40. Thirty-three to forty. It is eight problems. Think we can handle getting those done before tomorrow? Hey, isn't that yes.